the key question that I wanted to ask is exactly the same that we discussed before the event in terms of why do you think that we are witnessing this um, application issue or the application for the budget issue in, in terms of, of the budgets that we are witnessing the fact that the, the large sums of budgets are underutilized or not applied or, or not used correctly what do you think is the key issue for that? And how, how can we support the countries and how can we support um, those entrepreneurs applying for those programs? We should um, simply um, draft the application. This is the word document. It goes within SANI, within the system of the European Commission. If we, are, if we reach the, the thresholds, then we just draft the project with all the elements and help the national governments. This is what we technically speaking do. We even do it for the German government. So when we have a project in one of the lender, we draft the word document and then it goes into the system of the European Commission and then we, you will get the green light if it needs to be notified. But in general, it is so there's one, the budget and the second question would be what are barriers to the investment in general? And this is a lack of overview in the jungle of EU laws, which is highly complicated. So A, it's law and paperwork. Then quite often there are too many parties involved. So there's the investor. Then you need to please Le Maire. So the mayor has a say, the municipality, then there is a minister, then there is a prime minister and um, Quite often, uh, ego is an issue, but we should play it differently in the interest of the people. So, and even especially um, uh, MIN trucks, for example, asked me a long time ago in Poland, and I wanted to ask the question whether the new plant of MIN trucks should be uh, in Lithuania, for example. And they said, no, we want Poland, then you need to follow the rule. It is Poland, fine. And I could sign up for it because in Poland they had a plant already, so it was more efficient. So we need to just stop this ego approach that we would like to do what we or the government or the mayor wants. We have to do it in the interest of the project. So one-stop shop principle, you should present your idea. We should get it most efficient for the time being. With the COVID situation, we have less... Um, uh, less nitpicker elements, less accountants, less paperwork, it is more efficient and you should focus um, on creativity. So quite often they're only focused on the plant and not on the cluster. Then we have a greyhound racing uh, problem that after having issued the state aid documents, they will tell you, but there was another one in line who issued previously and the money is previously uh, parked for the other candidate, but now we have more money in the cash box and this is therefore, it, it makes it more likely that all parties involved will be pleased with the most efficient uh, effects. Then try to find bodies for the cross-border effect. Um, and then, um, yeah, taxes, another aspect was quite often, the government and the European Commission does not understand that the investors love tax advantages, but this is long term and the political climate could change so that the tax situation one day may change. So what they're interested in is subsidies because this has an immediate effect on the return of investment. And we all appreciate tax holidays and uh, if the tax regime is a reasonable one, but what helps, and I have seen that lots of investment went outside of the European Union to Serbia, to other countries, and not to the European Union, because Asian investments just went straight there without being bothered with tax questions and uh, other elements. But that's enough. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, do you have time for another question? Because we just received from the crowdcast. Um, that's in terms of what is the appetite to start investment in the Baltic Sea regions? What are you seeing as the key priority areas for investments in, in most um, programs that are applications are coming through? What are those strategic areas that investments are now boosting? 
Uh, for me personally, I have five new projects in the field of uh, software development. I think uh, the Lithuanians are internationally global players and partially people don't know that. This is a, real, uh, a really tricky situation that I have to uh, explain quite often that, for example, in the gaming um, uh, I feel I'm not interested in gaming and uh, I don't like even seeing my kids doing gaming whatsoever. But you are in Lithuania a leading uh, nation for that uh, software development. And now um, we more and more um, uh, found partners to invest and to start uh, projects in Lithuania, which has not been uh, part of the knowledge before. They went to the US, and this is uh, previously mentioned at the conference, why can't we create a new kind of Silicon Valley for the software elements? Why always everyone goes to California or now to Asia even? And in Germany, they now are trying to start an artificial intelligence center in Baden-Württemberg. I don't want to go to Baden-Württemberg. I want to go to the Baltic uh, Sea region. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think another important mention, uh, topic you mentioned was the tailored made solution for all of these programs in terms of application and in terms of facilitation. And I think the challenge that we're talking about is the competencies and the skills and the complication to, to prepare those tailored made solutions. And how do you think agencies can solve this issue? Um, how they sorry how they how they can solve the issue to make it more efficient to make more tailored made solutions or quickly apply or to quickly adjust to yeah. those requirements we should sit together the thing is that we need the stimulus from the industry so that someone is saying for example i would like to start a new plant uh, you have hella you have continental there but you don't have for example a battery uh, or energy producer so that you sit should sit together and say listen this is the project but then for the cluster building we would need uh, colleagues from Lithuania invest or for the other um, uh, uh, countries now uh, being part of the conference Poland for example we should sit together and try where are other a player in the market who have a similar interest and would love to create a subsidiary I found out, for example, when the cash situation is quite short, that they apply for, uh, for, for uh, state guarantees, but they could also create a subsidiary in your countries and get some subsidies for it and increase the cash situation. And thinking about it would partially lead to making projects bigger and getting a slot in the new project for another partner. Does that reply to your answer? It does, it absolutely. And I'm just wondering, the last question, if your recommendation as we have listeners, investors, and we have listeners who are working on the digitalization and, and uh, global programs in terms of the Baltics, what are the next steps they should do? What are the next steps to utilize the subsidiary? Where to go, where to start? The technical kind of answer of what, what's next for them to do? Right, yeah. But, but once again, imagine there was recently in the automotive industry, there was a, yeah, a big player and he said, okay, let's, let's go to the Baltic Sea region. And I said, okay, um, here you can get 25% subsidies. But they said, yeah, but in Mexico or somewhere, I would get more and I would get it immediately without having uh, EU laws and... Uh, and a state of the art application. So I think we are somehow under pressure for being more efficient, faster, and yeah, straight advice, taking the hand of the investor and, and simplify his life. I'm not asking questions. Here we have an R&D program, there we have a, a regional aid program, and in this jungle, they then need to find their way with the consultants and accountants. This will never fly. So in the meantime, he will find something in uh, South America or somewhere uh, more efficiently. Yeah. So to simplify, to get it quicker, to get it faster and to get it simpler. Yeah.